Hello everybody, this is Muzaffar. In this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy your website on Vercel for free. So the way it is going to look is we will push our website source code to a GitHub repository and we'll connect uh, to that uh, GitHub repository from Vercel. Uh, the good thing about this setup is anytime we push any changes to the github repository uh, for that website it will be automatically updated in version so yeah uh, let's start by creating a repository on github for the website so i am here on my github account and uh, we'll create a new repository i'll name it as youtube uh, Varsal demo and i can keep it as private uh, and public both uh, let's keep it private this time so create repository and yeah repository has been created let's click on the repository name and uh, let's create a template now so let's find some basic HTML template like uh, like for me it doesn't have to be really advanced one i can get away with this one as well so yeah i copied it now uh, i can you know push the source code from my local computer to this repository but i can create it here as well right i can click on create a new file and here i can name it as index.html and the contents I copied from W3 schools. So yeah, let's also add the head section. And in head, I can also add title. So the name of the project was YouTube Parcel Demo. And uh, yeah everything else can stay as it is yeah let's save the changes hit the button and yeah we have our uh, index.html here if you click we can see the contents yeah now let's go back to the Vercel dashboard yeah before we uh, move further please make sure you have uh, created an account in Vercel so i already created an created an account and i am logged into Vercel. Uh, and uh, then once you are there let me just start from the base url versal.com so uh, you will end up on this page after login and here uh, you see i don't have any project one thing i could have done is i could have uh, chosen some project uh, template from here but you see it is using nexus and you know some advanced uh, examples uh, but uh, what i wanted to do is uh, go with very basic uh, one so yeah that's why i created on github so yeah let's create uh, click on this create a new project uh, button and once we are there uh, you see my github account is uh, mentioned here uh, in your case it might not be so uh, you have to click on adjust github permissions and then you can connect your github account to this one so for me it has been connected already i can like uh, if it is not done for you uh, you have to click on this uh, drop down and then click add github account so this way you will be able to uh, add your get integrate uh, your github account into Vercel. yeah so yeah i am still not seeing my uh, youtube uh, Vercel demo uh, repository here uh, this one that is displaying here it is uh, from my previous uh, test so yeah it means i need to uh, adjust github app permissions uh, for that repository to appear in Vercel. so yeah selecting my github account here i need to click on adjust github app permissions and then from here i have to click my github account then if you scroll down 
uh, we will see only select repositories right if you click on all repositories all your repositories in github will display in Wurzel. that will be a little easier for me i will stick to this option so i will click on this one then i will search my uh, repository that i have created earlier and then i'll also remove this one since i don't need it anymore so i'll only give permissions uh, to Wurzel to access uh, this repository in my GitHub account. Yeah, I'll click save. And once it is done, it will close by itself and uh, I'll see my uh, uh, repository here in Wurzel. And then what I have to do is just click on that uh, import button. So let's click on it. Then it will ask me uh, to set the project name. So for now, let's go with uh, the same name as uh, the repository name and everything else uh, will stay same so it is a uh, deployment is as simple as click on this uh, deploy button and it will deploy uh, your uh, website to Wurzel so let's click on it all right uh, it is deploying now my deployment is queued so yes it seems to have uh, deployed so the way you test it is by clicking on this uh, thumbnail and you will see your website and note down your uh, uh, url for your website and if you want to change your website's uh, url uh, you can do that easily uh, the way to do it is let's close this one and go back uh, let's click on continue dashboard and uh, from here uh, we can click on view domains and click on edit for our project and in here i can modify the domain yeah so youtube version uh, it is the original one. I'll just remove you, YouTube part and just save it. Demo. Oh, yeah, I think I already. Somebody might have assigned it already. So for me, I'll do it with my name then. Yeah. The first, the first website yeah so this should be unique let's see all right it was accepted and it seems to be assigned a little let's click on the website name and uh, yeah nice we can see our website uh, on github like pushed on github and uh, hosted on Wurzel for free let's try to do something let's try to edit it on github and see whether the uh, modifications are reflected quickly or not so yeah let's click on the edit uh, this index file and uh, we can click edit icon here and i'll also update the title so the first website and then i'll just commit changes now let's go back uh, you see it is uh, doing its job already pushing it to Wurzel the edits right so we can go here refresh and click on the website again and yes we can see the title updated there so yeah uh, so the way it is uh, going to work is you always modify your website on github and then it will be updated uh, in Wurzel uh, automatically yeah so yeah that's about it for this video be sure to subscribe to this channel and i'll see you in next video